morning youtubers another short review today uh, going to be reviewing the MP01 cape for Optimus Prime cool little product from iGear and I'll be showing you today what you get comes in a nice sort of simple box it's got a nice graphic on the front warning choking hazard for frequent for ages 18 and up that's a bit excessive caution the cape may scratch the paint on the lights I personally haven't found that so that's kind of good so what you get in the box you get two clips in a baggie and you get a beautifully sewn satin-esque cape with two little things on the end which I'll show you what those are for later but if you're like me and were a bit disappointed with the coronation set for Starscream you will be very very happy with this this is just beautiful material it's sort of a bit stretchy and the, the sewing is just immaculate so you won't have to be like me and replace your Starscream cape with a piece of felt because it was so shit so get in your preferred flavour of the older Optimus Prime um, I don't think it will fit the new MP010 or whatever its number is this is the older DVD release so to fit the cape on Optimus Prime you take the Z loops and I like to have it this way and just hook them over the lights and we take our little uh, shoulder clips which are very nicely chromed and quite nicely detailed now there is a left and a right side you may be able to see that these indents are slightly asymmetrical and if I get this right I think that one's supposed to go on that side and that one's supposed to go on that side and they fit very snugly and as I said earlier they they warn you it might scratch the paint but honestly I can't see that uh, maybe if you really jammed them on it would but now we've got Optus Prime in a very very suave and pimpalicious cape that is just fabulous if we get Megatron out you could do all sorts of cool stuff like I'm dark and mysterious I'm the Phantom of the Opera <laughs> but they're not expensive Big Bad has them on sale quite regularly um, should be able to get them for, I don't know, $10 US or less. But these are very, very cool. I mean, just how pimp is that? That is just brilliant. And I'll, you can, if you want a bit more contrast, you can turn it around the other way. Um, there is a bit of a story behind the cape. Apparently... I don't know, I did briefly read the wiki. Um, apparently something along the lines of... Something happened to G2 comic where Megatron and Optimus Prime got sick of being resurrected to fight each other by the Quintessons or something and joined forces for a very brief period of time and both wore a awesome cape. Who cares? <laughs> this is just fantastic. And just for just for completion's sake, we'll bring in the black version, and I'll show you what that looks like. And we're back with the black version of Optimus Prime. And let's see what he looks like in this. So again, you just hook it over the lights and affix the shoulder pieces. Uh, hang on. Yes, that's the right one. I wish they had put a left and right 
sort of in, uh, indicator inside that would have been very helpful. So there's the black prime with the cape. And man, I think that even looks even better. So yeah, if you have a black prime, get the cape. That's fantastic. Possibly even suits Nemesis Prime's character a little bit better. Although, the Japanese version sort of does the toilet smoke stacks do it in the way a little bit, but yeah. And we'll turn it around and show you what it looks like with the red version on the inside. And again, can't see any paint wearing off the headlights there. Fantastic. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's coming to get you. Well, that's me, Master Gravitron, with the MP01 cape. And I'm going to have to give this one a seriously recommended. It's not expensive, and man, it just gives your Prime such an amazing new look. So, what are you doing watching this video? Go get yourself a Prime cape. Catch you later.